Hi, we are now in Unit 3 of Week 4, and your facilitator still remains myself, Professor Owajaje Juliet Inegbetio. What is the topic we are looking at in this unit? In this unit, we're going to be working with the house tie. House tie is usually used to help map out or identify a form of identity for an organization. And at the same time, it helps us and access devices for the learners. So when they are learning, they know exactly what they are expecting and what they may come across. Now let's see how this works. Every writer has a unique way of presentation. And it is that uniqueness that helps to identify the work of such writer. That when you see that person's write up anywhere, you'll be able to say, oh, this is this person, because this is the way he writes, this is the way she writes. And the same thing goes when we are presenting our online content. We must have a particular style that we need to use. This, there is no particular way to say this is the best way to do it, no. Depends on what you come up with, but what is mostly important is consistency. You must be consistent with that, and when you are consistent, it acts as a brand name for you. So every institution has agreed and approved style that they use. So once you see the documents, so, oh, this is from this institution, oh, this is from here. So you have to brand your name, brand yourself, brand your organization, brand your institution when you are working. So what to consider when creating a house type? There are certain things you need to consider when creating a house type. First and foremost, you have to consider the headings. You know, in your presentation, definitely you're going to have headings, titles of the work you'll be working on within the content. And there are different forms of headings. You will have the major heading and you will have the subheadings and you're going to have the sub subheadings. So you need to classify how you want these headings presented in your document. And you need to specify the font type, the font size that you're going to use, the color, the pizza, if need be, how you want to present it. Is it going to be indented? Is it going to be in block form? These are things you need to bring forward when you are writing. They will now come to the body of the work also. You need to equally identify what you want to use as a font size, as a font type. You need to identify it. And again, in the area of emphasis, you need to identify what you want to use as an area of emphasis. The way you need to use icon, you must come up with icon that will be tied to certain activities. And anywhere this learner sees that icon, you will recognize the activities. For example, you may have an icon, and that icon is tied to introduction, learning outcome, you have another one tied to assessment. Maybe you call it quiz. So anytime they see that icon for quiz, oh, it will just come to the, oh, quiz has to be done here. So the icon help them to walk through, but you must be consistent. It's not that you will use one icon today, tomorrow or in the next write-up, use a different icon. No, these are things you need to bring up. Then you have to talk about the size that you're going to use in terms of illustration, using the pictures, what size of picture, you must fix a particular size that you want to use all the time. And the spacing between the pictures, between the tables, and the, uh, the charts you want to use, diagrams you want to use, you have to come up with the spacing. Then you have to talk about how you want to integrate your text, your audios, your videos. How do you want to integrate them? Is it through the LMS or you're going to give a link or you're going to use both? These have to be defined in your uh, house type. And at the same time, you need to decide on the headings that will serve as a, an access device. For instance, you might decide to say, well, the major access devices we're going to have will be introduction, learning outcomes, then we're going to have a summary or conclusion for that reading and references. These are things that will help the learners to walk through the document. Decide on what you want, but you must be consistent. In that case, anywhere you pick your, uh, your document, what they are seeing for is introduction. It's just like what we have been working through since the beginning of this course. You see, for every video, the first thing you see is the introduction. If you go to the content, it's introduction. And the last thing you see is summary. So it is consistent all through. It is only within the body you now have uh, 
variation. Now, how do you want to present area of emphasis? Do you want to use italics or you want to put it in an intake or you want to use bold? So these are issues you need to bring up. What is the style of referencing that you want to use? There are different forms, styles of referencing, but you must come up with a style of referencing you want to use in your document and, and it has to be consistent. And if there's going to be further readings, how do you want to present the further readings to the student? Also, these have to be what do you consider in designing house style is not limited to these few points I have listed. For instance, you can still decide to bring in your institutional logo or company logo to add to what you want to do. Also, you may need to, uh, if where you need to write for an existing uh, organization, you are writing for them, you have to ask them about their house style because it's the house style that will guide your presentation style to them. Where does OERO comes in here? That might be the question. Where does it come in? We are talking about presentation, talking about house style. The house style will guide you on how to integrate the OER into your content. For instance, where you have a house style that provides for that reading and references as part of the access devices, you can decide to use the OER document as for that reading or add it as the, the list of references. So this is a guide because you now know what to pick and how it can assess and help you walk through what you need to do. Working with house style in online content creation helps to brand your name. While creating a house style, consider the heading, the font type, the font size, then consider the color that you want to use and how you want to integrate the OER into your learning. Then in this case, the house type guides the different modes you can use to integrate OER in your online course. So with this, I say thank you for listening.